Hey there, people. So, uh, surprise, I am uh, playing the Martian Madness event, and this was completely a surprise to me. Um, I was actually preparing to do a different uh, video today, and, well, the Martian Madness is not an event that you can summon. It's an event that simply just happens. Um, so I was, it happens when you're, uh, when you've already defeated Golem. Uh, and you're in the outer two-thirds of the map, basically. So uh, I just happen to be running around my map preparing to make a completely different video than this one. And, uh, well, all of a sudden I got the... I, I saw a little Martian probe, and uh, here we are. <laughs> the Martian Madness event just, just started happening. So, uh, yeah, and I've just lost one of my NPCs because um, you'll see the probe and it'll turn red to say that it's detected you, or I'm getting damaged. Can you feel your brain getting damaged? I can. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I was uh, I was running around and I saw the, the probe and either the probe um, will turn red to indicate that it has detected you or uh, you attack it and of course then it detects you that way as well. <laughs> um, and the event only actually starts when uh, you are near either your default spawn point or a valid NPC house where the NPC actually is. Um, yeah, here we are. So uh, yeah, I should probably uh, do some of this stuff, get some potions going, get my minions going. Yeah, you you fight those guys. Maybe I'll break out my flamethrower. What do you think? <laughs> I haven't used the flamethrower in a while, but I like fire. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's a pretty tough event, obviously. And somebody has just inflicted the confusion buff, debuff on me. They did. Recently. It's gone now. I was actually working towards uh, doing the Ankh shield, and I was going to do a guide on that, uh, which would have protected me from that and many other debuffs, so I'm going to be doing that soon. Um, but yeah, there's a whole variety of Martian enemies here, obviously. And much like the Goblin Army and the uh, Frost Legion and various other ones, um, you need to basically kill a sufficient number of enemies, and then the event will end. Crowd control, am I right? Yeah, I probably have more powerful things I could be using, but I like fire. Oh, there's... Okay, so th most of these guys aren't going to drop very much that's useful, but uh, that guy does. Let's see, did I get it? No. Uh, of course, it's always a chance to drop um, that guy on the little creature. He can drop the, uh, what's it called? The Brain Scrambler, which, uh, oh, there we go. That gives you uh, um, a mount that's like that one. Okay, now I'm going to need to switch to something more powerful. Because this is the boss, mini boss, whatever you want to call it. The Martian Saucer. And that's where you're going to get the only other useful items from the Martian Saucer. So, Martian Saucer, fairly tough. You want to keep moving. Um, it's got a laser cannon, rocket launchers, and then it's got a death ray once you take those all out. You have to actually destroy um, all of the four cannons. There's two on each side. Uh, one rocket, one laser on each side. Ow. Um, you have to destroy all of those before you can actually damage the core, which is where we're at now, and now he's trying to kill me with the death ray. Which is one of the most powerful things in the game, and now I'm dead. <laughs> so you snapped in half by Martian death ray. Um, if you can kill the Martian saucer, which I failed to do that time, uh, okay, he's still here. Oh, but it's a new one. Not the same one, it's a new one. So, uh, heal. Try not to get hit by too many rockets. If you can kill it, that's where you're getting all of your powerful equipment and stuff. Oh, 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 not the death ray, not the death ray. Please don't kill me, death ray. 
So yeah, this is a hard event. <laughs> and uh, especially the mini boss. Right, gonna want some minions. Oh, a little late for that. Is my nurse still alive? Nurse! Yeah, she is. Let's try not to get her killed. Thanks, nurse. Running away now. <laughs> trying to stay away from my NPCs because, as I've learned through various events before, it's best not to get all your NPCs killed. If you stay near them, then the enemies spawn near them. And they die. So you can see here, not a lot of... Uh, useful items. You can get Martian Conduit Plating, uh, which is just a block type. But beyond that, uh, most of the enemies will just drop like costumes and and those blocks. Um, as I say, there's the one guy that rides around a little critter, and you can get him out for that critter. Oh, there he is. Yeah, so that guy on the critter, he can drop a mount item for that. Um, but everything else that's useful comes from the Martian Saucer, which of course is very hard to defeat. <laughs> and you can get some very powerful weapons uh, from the Saucer, so... Oh. As you can see, I'm not really ready for this. <laughs> it was a random event. Um, but yeah, with the Saucer, the basic thing is take out the, uh, the guns, there's the saucer again, trying to kill my NPCs, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, dodge, dodge, dodge. Ow, 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 heal time. <laughs> Watch your health. Try not to get hit by the lasers, rockets, or death ray. I could use my Terra Blade, but I don't think that's probably a good idea. <laughs> oh, oh, there's the Death Ray again. Ah! <laughs> there's that Saucer again. Now, one thing about the Death Ray, actually, and the Martian Saucer in general, um, it actually can't fire through blocks, so I should probably be uh, using that more, but it can travel through blocks, but it can't fire through blocks, and that is actually important in terms of attempting to defeat it. So you can, I mean, if you're prepared, you can build a little arena um, that would allow you to basically block it. Oh god. See, the problem is, it can't fire through blocks, but it can travel through blocks. Ah! Death Ray again. Always with the death ray. Okay, so I got a brain scrambler. So let's check that out. So yeah, see this is my mount. Actually, yeah, mount, not a summon item, this is a mount, so probably I should just go ahead and equip that. Now because I have this platform in the sky, this might help a lot actually, because this mount fires lasers, as you can see. It's auto-fire lasers. So I'm not even doing anything right now. <laughs> Let's see when the inevitable Martian saucer comes, if this helps. Oh, 
There's the inevitable Martian saucer. Now the only problem is I can't fly <laughs> while I'm using this. That could definitely be a problem. That's okay, I have more platforms. I can actually run. Did the, did the saucer follow me? I don't see the saucer. Oh, saucer. Oh, there's a saucer. I don't know if it's the same saucer. Is it damaged? Are you feeling damaged, saucer? Okay, maybe the fact that, again, I have this mount and this platform. And yeah, my maneuverability is a little compromised with this thing. But nonetheless... Ah, I was just trying to hit the heal button. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, Lorraine's still alive, at least long enough. You really shouldn't stand in the doorway, Lorraine. I can't close that door if you're in it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Run, our, under, run underneath before the laser kills me. Death ray, you know what I'm saying. Okay, we are damaging it. We're damaging it. Ah, oh god, it's damaging me too. <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to dodge. Because um, obviously it speeds up, tries to get over top of you. You have to dodge the other way quickly, I think. That might work. <laughs> oh, Lorraine's still not dead. Which is surprising. Uh, Lorraine. I also can't climb ropes. Is Lorraine dead? Or is that just me? <laughs> Lorraine! I need your help, Lorraine. You should really get inside, Lorraine. Oh, Lorraine. Why are you running around? <laughs> Alright, I can't count on Lorraine anymore. Lorraine is dead. I'm gonna have to do this on my own. <laughs> Go away, saucer! Maybe I should be using those houses up there a little more because... This saucer doesn't seem that concerned with, like, coming right down into the building when I'm in there, so... Yeah, this mount actually kind of tells you where to aim, too, because its lasers are auto-firing, right? So the only problem with that strategy is the issue of basically losing the saucer before you can defeat it. Ah, see, I was just going in there. <laughs> now we stand. Oh god, the standing is hurting. Yeah, I should probably use my boss arena against this boss sort of thing. That 
was sort of my old boss arena. My old boss arena. Oh, I might almost have this. I might almost have this. Come on, die. Yes! Yes! Oh, no. God. Okay, that was... I thought that was the actual... Ah, damn it. <laughs> I thought I had finally defeated the saucer. But that was just the last of its turrets. See, I could clear this event faster, but I'm really kind of hoping that I can kill one of these saucers somehow eventually. It's not seeming very likely, I'll give you that. Maybe I should just hide in here indefinitely, let my minions and uh, magic stuff gradually take care of it. Think that'll work? It is actually very slowly working. <laughs> the Lazy Man's Guide to Taking Down a Martian Saucer. <laughs> Let all your NPCs die. Have some healing potions. Hide in your house while your magic sentries and whatnot gradually, gradually, very slowly take it down for you. <laughs> this seems to be my best bet at the moment. It's getting really mad though. Oh yeah, the flames, okay. It's using the death ray more now that it's damaged. So the, the lingering flames are actually what I have to watch out for as much as anything at this point. And there you have it. The most effective way to kill the Martian saucer is hiding. The answer is hiding. <laughs> Be cowardly, and you can defeat the Martian Saucer. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know how, I don't know if I want to hide here indefinitely. I would like to actually finish this event. On the other hand, I would like to get some of the really cool equipment that this thing, uh, drops. Oh yeah, I got a laser drill there. Laser drill, nice. So what I really want is the weapons, not so much the drills. Basically you've got a 11.1%, I think it's a 9 out of 10, or not 9 out of 10, 1 out of 9 <laughs> chance at uh, each of the drops. And there are some very uh, powerful drops actually, so while this is a very cheap way of defeating it, It is a way. <laughs> I want to get at least one good weapon from this, so uh, maybe I'll continue to be cheap long enough to do that. My <laughs> uh, twins minions are not being so effective. <laughs> Even my bloody spider's more effective than them right now. But uh, probably if you built your um, little arena, if we would call it that, a little better than this. This is just what I happen to have. If you built something suited to the purpose. You might do a little better. And you could probably do it a lot faster. So gradually you can get the pattern of this, where it does the rocket barrage from one side, and then it goes over to the other side, and then it comes back with the beam. It might, you know, mix that up depending on your um, sort of building here, but allows me to do a little more damage. I can 
more or less stand under it, actually. Directly under it while it's doing the rockets. Because of the way my thing is laid out, the rockets will actually miss me more if I'm standing directly under uh, the opening. You just have to get the heck out of the way before it starts firing that death ray down at you. Of course, that'll change as it loses some of its weapons as well. Alright, so that actually didn't quite work out, but I found another little thing that's helping me a lot here, which is, uh... I'm actually just grappled to the bottom of this little area. And using the yo-yo. I happen to have the second most powerful yo-yo in the game with a good modifier, so... That also helps, but, uh... When I can hit him with this... Well, it helps with taking out all the, uh, guns anyway. It should help with... Killing him after this as well, because you, c you see he can't uh, use the death ray on me from here. Yep, see, there we go. I can basically just bang the yo-yo against the... <laughs> I can hang right underneath the entrance and just keep knocking him with the yo-yo, so... Needless to say, that is very helpful. There we go. Bang, 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 bang. Although, I'm gonna have to be careful here. Yeah, okay, he is getting me. Where is that that? Oh. Okay, I've actually finished the event, but this saucer's hanging around, so let's see if I can finish it off. It's hard to hit him with the yo-yo, but... The thing about the yo-yo is I can literally just keep hitting him again and again and again. Maybe I can get something good out of this yet. Yeah, I jumped a bit ahead there because I had actually accidentally died against the second uh, saucer that I was fighting from in here. But then another one came. And I found this yo-yo trick. Yeah, this is actually probably better than all those other things. So, yes, Martian Saucer has been defeated. Did I get something cool? Oh, I got an anti-gravity hook. So still no good weapons. Uh, if I'd been using that strategy through the whole thing, hopefully I would have actually gotten a good weapon, but let's, let's at least try these out. Um, funny thing is, I think those might be well, there, there's a few things you can get. There's definitely a few things you can get. You can get a really cool mount as well, other than the one that I got. There's uh, another one that's even better. It's called the, the item is called the Cosmic Car Key. And, uh, yeah, it, it's basically, it allows you to fly um, without using your wings, which turns out to be very useful. Um, but what I did get is Laser Drill and Brain Scrambler anti-gravity hook. I got some cool stuff, so let's try these out. Um, cool thing about the anti-gravity hook, unlike other hooks, you can actually latch it to something and kind of rotate around. So you can see, this actually uh, reminds me of kind of the mechanic that supposedly we might be getting in Terraria Otherworld, where you have a swinging grappling hook. But this one you can actually rotate all the way around. Hence the name, anti-gravity. And uh, I also got the laser drill, so let's give that a look. Now this is a drill that can go out up to 10 spaces, so if I, say, wanted to drill in here, I can actually just drill straight through with it. And, yeah. It's a weird kind of mechanic, but uh, can be very useful as well. So there you go. Um, 
I'm going to switch back to my web slinger, honestly, but... Oh, I actually have two brain scramblers. So, again, that's my cool little mount, which has an auto cannon laser kind of thing. But cannot fly, but you can get the other one, the cosmic car key, from the Martian saucer, which will let you fly. And there's some very powerful weapons. There's the influx waver sword, which is like a beam sword um, with a beam that fires in the direction you know this one obviously does fire in the direction as well but that one then auto targets up to two additional enemies there's uh, some really cool guns magic guns and gun guns there's there's uh, some great items you can get and it's, it's about a one in nine chance of of each item so i get a couple cool things i didn't get the weapons which i really could have used but uh there you go that's uh the martian invasion martian madness sorry event um and a little idea of how you can actually defeat the uh, Martian Saucer, which, uh, well, it's basically in a cheap way, but uh, that, that's one way to do it. So there you go. I um, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time with uh, something else. Bye for now.